Shalom. Welcome to The Jewish View. My name is Rabbi Nachman Simon with the Chabad House of Dalmar, together with my co-host Mark Ronich of Statewide News Service and jbiztechvalley.com. We have a very, very special guest with us, Mr. Tim Nichols. He's a Democratic Albany County legislator with it from Colony. So, Tim, I can't call you my first name. Absolutely. All right, Tim, welcome to The Jewish and, View. And welcome back. Well, it's good because to be back. Because you have a new, another title. I Since do. you were here last time, right. you're in chairman of the county health committee, county legislature health committee. Yes. So, yes. and you were a member at the time, but now you were bumped up to chair, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So what's happening in health-wise in the county? Are we all healthy? Are we doing well? Are we <laughs> <laughs> He's not a doctor. He's a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to. I actually literally just came back from the doctor. So oh, okay. Uh, everything checked He's out. All right. Okay, good. Good. So, um, so good. I have to lose some, health, some yes. weight, but we already established that. We know that, yes. <laughs> so, um, well, first of all, I'm very honored and excited to be the chairman of the health committee. I have served on that committee as a committee. Uh, as a member of the committee for, oh, I don't know, the last six years or okay. so. And um, I, I kind of come from a background in healthcare. I worked for the American Lung Association for almost eight years. Um, I, I worked on a lot of health policy when I worked for Rhoda Jacobs before I went to go work for the, the Assembly Lung Association. Woman. Assemblywoman Rhoda Jacobs, correct. And I even did a short stint with the um, Health Plan Association, the HMOs in the early 90s. So okay. um, I have a long interest and a lot of years mm -hmm. working in the health care sector and very mostly so public health. So what's the connection between Albany County and health? I mean, these are national or even statewide services you just named, Robert right. Taylor, assembly mm -hmm. people. Now cue into what the county has to do with health. Well, the county governments have a very important role to play when it comes to public health. Um, we have, first of all have a, a health board, which is which has a lot of authority. As a matter of fact, the trans fat ban that Albany County instituted a few years ago was in fact instituted by the Albany County Board of Health. So they have powers, and they've been able to use these powers in various ways throughout the years. And you've granted to them by the state. And you sponsored measures that were of health, that were health related. I have, yeah. yes, sure. I, I, I before I was chairman, I had right. the menu labeling law right. requiring uh, restaurants Calories. to have calorie information posted on their menu. So, uh, the county government is also responsible for everything from homeland security, um, having a an emergency plan uh, in case of disaster, um, you know, disaster preparedness and. Um, everything from immune, um, flu shots, vaccines, when we had the H1N1 issue a few years ago, we so had massive vaccination clinics all around the so county. So what, you talk about disasters, what do you, what's your plan for the county government? <laughs> what's my plan? Well, <laughs> Never we, mind. we'll go over, we'll go. Uh, yeah, Forget we'll get into that, that later. Okay. Bumped. okay, so tell me about the county nursing home, because that's a big issue on, in your committee right. also. What? Uh, we have uh, a new executive director, a gentleman by the name of, what, Mar Harvey Finkelstein, Correct. And there's a new guy who's going to come in to deal with the operations of the nursing home, Larry Slatke. Yep. And when did, he starts in October. Well, he and he, I'm not sure exactly when when we later actually this year. yeah. yeah. It, well, he's he's consulting right. now. Uh -huh. um, where we are with the nursing home is we have decided to create a local development corporation, an mm -hmm. LDC, to help manage and well to eventually take over and manage the operations of the nursing home similar to what we did with the airport when we created the airport authority um, so Larry came to us in a interesting way he was part of a group that responded to an RFP for management services last year and um, Long story short, he yeah, impressed yes. a lot of people and decided we decided that, well, you know, it was decided. I, I happened right. to favor mm -hmm. going with the company that we, that the only company that responded to, that to the RFP, New Health, by the way. Was no, it no. was um, right. it was Lowell Feldman and, and, and others. They responded to an RFP okay. a couple of years ago. USG? No, no. the USG okay. never responded to okay. an RFP. Okay. And that was 
one of the big issues. But okay. in any case, uh, Lowell kind of brought Larry to us, and then uh -huh. we decided to go with Larry. Okay. But Larry is uh, was heading up the nursing home in Nassau County, right? And had a lot of success there, and people were impressed with him. And he said, "I can serve as a contract uh, sort of consultant, I should say, and help." get us through the LDC process to mm -hmm. a point where the LDC will eventually take over and hopefully hire Larry and bring him on to be the, the administrator. But in the meantime, we needed a new administrator because um, the previous one had left mm -hmm. in, in last August or September and we were without a full time. We had a part time sort of semi-retired right. man. And then we brought Harvey in because um, he was, uh, uh, he retired from the, um, what you call it, the Schenectady County Nursing Home. Right, okay. And what is, yeah, so the, the County Nursing Home is bleeding red ink right now. Is that? Well, it, 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 a couple things going. And that this Larry Slatke said that he could turn it around where in six months he could stop the bleeding and then 18 months he could have it in the black. Right. Does that sound good to you? Does yes, it sound like it's I, possible? Is it my, feasible? My, well, I feel like w I've been saying this for a while, whether it was Larry or Lowell Feldman or someone else. My problem with the nursing home was, and not so much anymore, but was the fact that, look, with a dedicated county executive committed to making it work, with a competent administrator in place at the nursing home, we would not be in the red. We would either be breaking even or we would be making a profit. Or if, if it did cost us any money, it would not cost as much money as it's costing us. One of the main reasons why it was costing so much money is the beds were not being filled. Mm -hmm. So we had a 250-bed facility, and we only had 218 beds filled. But that's because you don't have s enough single rooms, and you have people that's in not the true. nursing home who need a single room, and then they don't fill up the they, bed next to them. They've renovated an entire wing. There are plenty of ways we could bring those people in. As a matter of fact, we're now up to, I think, over 230 beds. I'm not sure what the latest census is, but we're far. We have at least... 15, 20 more people in, in the nursing home than we did, you know, at the beginning of the year. How long is Larry in the job now for? Well, Larry, Larry is consulting, consulting now, now yeah. probably since January. Yeah. So he's been there a while. So certain things have happened already? Yeah. Things and are it, getting better yourself I, I think. I think what, I, what I'll say about the county executive is he sort of stepped out of the way and said, okay, fine. You know, I wanted to privatize. Mm -hmm. uh, you're not, the legislature wasn't allowing that to happen. The best move we could make at this point was to sort of meet in the middle, which is why we have an LDC. But in my, and I voted for the LDC, but in my opinion, we did not need an LDC. We just needed management. We needed a commitment to make it work. And we did not have that with Mike Breslin at all. He wanted to close it down. And when Danny came in, I think he was persuaded incorrectly by people mm -hmm. to continue along the Mike Breslin path instead of forging a new path with the legislature to make it work. This idea that government is supposed to, if we run it like a business, we're going to make money is ridiculous. Some agencies we can do okay, but a nursing home is, even in the private sector, isn't always profitable. So what makes you think a public nursing home is going to be profitable? Mm -hmm. And when we're taking care of people who nobody else wants, because they can't make money off of them, it's gonna cost us more money. And I think that's where public health and county governments come into play. We are there as a safety net. The county government is the safety net. It's where the rubber meets the road when it comes to safety net programs. You need food stamps, you go to the county. HEAP, county. Medicaid, mm -hmm. county. All of the social services programs. And if you have nowhere else to go, because you're too ill or too frail and you don't have the resources to pay for private care, you go to a public facility. And so that's our mission. And what bothers me with the nursing home, I get a little passionate about it, but is the jail is costing the county five times more to run than the nursing home. In other words, we're losing five times as much money as we are with the jail. Well, I thought the jail was m sort of making money because they bring prisoners in mm -hmm. from other 
counties. They do, but, and, and but it, the net, the, the bottom line is it costs us five times more. It costs about 40 to $50 million at the end of the day we're paying out than we're getting in. Look it up. I will. But I, you know, the, the uh, this is off the topic. But the uh, sheriff is instituting a video conferencing thing yep. that you charge, and you could Skype with the jail in the inmate, yeah. and you can pay for that Skype type of uh, connection, and that's supposed to bring in some revenue, some additional revenue besides what the county, other counties pay for having their inmates in Albany County. I don't know if it's make 40, 50 million dollars. But no, it's, it's not going to make 40, 50 million. No, but, he, I, I mean, I'll say this. I think the sheriff has done a great job, and I think Campbell did a good job too. Um, I just feel like, you know, we shouldn't lose sight. Government programs cost money. That's why we, if, if we made money in every agency, we wouldn't need to tax anybody because we're making money. You know, so it costs us money to do these things. If we want to have a jail and we want to lock people up and we want to have sheriff's deputies on the street and yeah. we want to have right. jail guards and correctional officers, yeah. it's going to cost us money. Right. So what's the lead for the county nursing home? So I think that, well, we were not losing a million dollars a month, month, which is what the, you know, uh, the talking said. points were right. all, you know, since he so took what, office. So what were you losing, more or less? We were losing a lot less. We were losing about 700000 a month. Oh, oh, 500 to 700000 It's not a million a month. No, but to it's me it's still more. a lot of money. Well, if it's 500000 that's $6 million, dollars, which means it's costing us $6 million to run the nursery. Right. And I say that's too high. Obviously, right. I want to get it to zero, but it, I, can I live with a three or four million dollar budget item to take care of people who have nowhere else to go? I think so. How much? Well, where is the income coming from? Let's say you say no one has; they don't have any money. To how, the federal government? I mean, I Medicaid mostly. Yeah, Medicaid, Medicaid will, come, will come kicks in, and in kick but in, still, yes. that's yep. not enough. Here's no, they pay poorly. Right. Yeah. It, it, it's it's. I mean, there there are the other well. There are, you know, there are other there are labor issues. Um, right. When we went from two nursing homes and 595 beds to one nursing home and 250 beds, we didn't necessarily downsize the staff to, you know. Yeah, but it was, yeah. but, you, but you're down through attrition. We're, we are down, we, through, we definitely are. And, and we're losing, we, you know, we, we still have a need um, for a lot of reasons, including contract reasons. Um, for temporary help and per diem help where we go out to the private market and go to temporary, temporary nursing agencies to bring people in mm -hmm. to cover shifts and also to cover positions that we can't find people to, to, uh, to, to fill. So, and that saves on health care costs when you bring people in. Yeah, yes, it, it, it you can don't save on health care costs, but for the, which what, is Larry, <laughs> what Larry would say, right, well, what Larry, exactly, what Larry would say is, that um, a better contract would, would, you know, reduce the need to go out to these outside sources because we'd have the staff to do it in-house. Because that, that costs that's extra money. It's, yeah, but what, you know, what's a, what does a better contract mean? I mean, that's what I'm... Well, that's true. It's all in the <laughs> eye of the beholder, the older, I suppose. what better um, is, yeah. I think something that makes a little bit more practical sense for mm -hmm. the county. I mean, th I'll say this. 11, there are two unions at at the nursing home. Of course, has to be. There's the teachers, mm -hmm. and believe it or not, they, and they represent the professional staff mostly, and not, not that the... Uh, and, and the nurses you know, association. And then the, no, then 1199. Oh. And both of those unions have gone bent over backwards to offer all kinds of ideas on how to run the nursing home uh, a lot more uh, efficiently. Oh, they have, efficiently, yes. so save money. Yeah, they they have they have I thought I think they have come up with a very reasonable. Um, they want to work with us because they realize that if they lose it, they have nothing. That's right, you know. So, so let, let me let me ask. I don't know. I don't know. Have you you been to the nursing home? You've walked through. You not in a while, but I should go. You should, should go. Take me with you. I will. We'll okay. go together. I'd like to see the that nursing sounds... home. I've never seen the nursing home. Okay. And I don't know how many Jewish patients there are, but if someone wanted a kosher meal. On a regular basis. Very nice. Okay. Do they? Allow I would for that? assume we have that to they look, do, but the, we can look. But into let's that. go look. Yes. Let's go find out. Let's see what Absolutely. the kitchen is like. <laughs> One of the things I did 
um, a few years ago is we buy a lot of food for the nursing home yes. and we buy a lot of food for the jail, although the jail right. is a little different in that they, there's a company that specializes in jail food. I well, guess. I saw a Fryhofer's pull up there one time. You did? Yeah. yeah, they give a lot of... Must have been a... They fall off on bread. Yeah. <laughs> I do visit Jewish prisoners, so I know what they're doing. Oh, okay, well... They give them a lot of bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, their bellies le, what I... My law was right. a requirement that a certain percentage of all the food that we buy must come from local farms. Okay. Oh, very good. So what I, do you I, consider local? I think I defined it as like within 100 miles of That's Albany County. big local. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, 100 miles. It's at least, it's, at least well, yeah, no, we're, not, we're not importing things from, you know, Mexico. California. Does, does the 100 miles include Massachusetts, Vermont, Connecticut? Uh, I or think Or does so. it have to be 100 miles in New York State? No, I think it, it's just, it, it it's, doesn't get into New York. And, and you yeah. see, I think well, if you but, could take, then it's not I don't so know local if, if it's other states. Well, I know. But yeah, I mean, right. we're, we're closer to <laughs> Bennington than we are, you know, Buffalo, right? Right, but Buffalo's in New York State, Bennington yeah, well, isn't. Well, so. I, I don't know. There may be other, you busted my chops. Right, there right. might be other <laughs> aspects to the buy New York. I'm not against that, but that's not what my law was trying to get at. I see that. You've got to amend that we law. Want to, maybe I will. I'll <laughs> okay. look into it. After we go to the nursing home, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll check out if the If you don't leader. check me in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you know, the nursing home is right next to the jail market. <laughs> oh. See, I didn't know that. I knew where the jail was because I go visit. I visited people okay. there, but, and they did let me out, obviously, so <laughs> that's a good thing. Uh, so what ha what, uh, what's happening on the, on the nursing home side in terms of the people who are there when you speak to them? When they, you know, they, they obviously have not come out for the hearings. They, it was all the staff people that came out and spoke out at public comment mm -hmm. sessions before the legislature. You don't see the you don't see the residents there or the clients whatever you the call residents them, you know never come out um, for mostly I would assume because they're just not ambulatory enough to to come out to the meetings but uh, many family members come out uh -huh. um, there is the family council which is sort of a, a group of family members uh, daughters and sons and spouses and you know in one case a uh, sister of a, of a sisters and brothers too siblings and they come out in fact there's a couple who are very active and vocal and they come out every single month and they kind of give us an update as to what's going on what issues um, they think we need to be aware of and they were very vocal and active um, during the whole privatization effort so um, they do a good job. I, I really rely on them because they are the sort of eyes and ears for us. And they're advocating for the well-being of their loved ones. Mm -hmm. And I think that's pretty important. Do you have to be an Albany County resident to be in the Albany County nursing home? No. No. Do you, have, do you know how many people from outside the county are? In no, but I think, I think most are. I think it's, I don't remember. Most are what? what? Most uh, are from the county? From Albany County, but you uh -huh. don't have to be. You know what happens a lot of times, I found with seniors, that they're, the, you know, they're, they may not be from originally from Albany, so therefore the kids move here. I mean, kids, now yeah. they're 50, 60 yeah. years old. Yeah, everybody's That's a true. kid by me, but 56 years old, and said, hey, Ma, I want you, I got to take care of you, I got to yeah. keep an eyeball on you. So come up from Florida That's or true. whatever, right. California, and I want you to now live near me. So yep. you say, well, that person's not in from Albany County, but their kids are or something like their yeah, two we, children we, are. We so having... you get that kind of idea. I know a lot of people, what, what are you doing here? I never yep. lived here. My son lives here, so I live, right. I, you know, I wanted to move near here. You got well, that a lot. Okay. Right. And we were having a, a, you know, there were a lot of issues where Albany County residents were being turned away from our nursing home and other nursing homes and sent to Massachusetts and, mm -hmm. and out of state. Why would that so be? If you have all sometimes it, ha it had to do with the type of um, um, needs that they had that, that could not be met currently at the nursing home. So one of the ideas was why don't we expand some of, some of our services so that we can bring some people back in. But a lot of it I think simply had to do with this policy of this on spoken policy that we don't want to fill the beds. We want to, you know, sort of let the air out of the place until it goes flat and we can get rid of it. And so you don't have any place else to go 
and there are no places locally that can accept you, so you have no choice but to look out of state. Do you call in the uh, executive director or this consultant to your committee to have him brief and prep the, com the county legislature committee? No, but you gave me an idea, okay. and I think I might do that. Um, the social services committee, which I'm also on, um, generally deals with nursing home matters. So anything related to the nursing home, mostly budget related, um, they'll come to us. They also, uh, there is the elder really? care committee, which uh -huh. is supposed to be only, you know, the nursing home. But I, you know, um, so they meet as well. That's where the interface usually, the interaction comes in mostly. But I think there's a health component, obviously, and maybe uh, okay. they should come in. All right, good. Let me know when that so happens. So we have like nursing home <laughs> okay. visit, um, the law, That's and right. now you're coming to my health committee. That's right. <laughs> you have any other issues? You're keeping me busy. Mark? Well, I, a few other ideas. How's, how do you see the county legislature shift? I mean, since you were here last, right. the Republican leader in the uh, county legislature, there was a shift in leadership on the Republican side. Is there any news on that front in terms of what's going to happen? There, uh, Christine Benedict, is she talking about retiring? I don't know. Uh, I, I, I was surprised yeah. that she, um, I guess, up. decided not to stay on as minority leader. Um, you know, it was right after our show. Right. I hope we didn't really, uh, you Did know, you we're guys, we take her on a here? Wednesday, no, no, and no. then Monday, she, 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 she went home and said, I can't do that. <laughs> And we're not um, being tough should, over here, you know. No, you should no, look no, at the interview. We it might should be look at it and read. Maybe she <laughs> gave, you know, I, I, I was surprised. She probably just, I, I don't know what her plans are. I have no idea. Okay. I, it would not surprise me if she decided that she wanted to retire and, you know, whatever. Yeah. But Because um, you're both from Colony, so, yep. you know, it's even though you're from opposite ends right, of the right, political spectrum, right. you could still be yeah. friendly. I, have, I haven't heard any rumors, and, you know, she might not have, decided yet, who yeah. knows, but so maybe she wanted to give somebody else a chance. What else can you tell us about uh, what's going on in the county legislature in terms of behind the scenes stuff that's <laughs> bubbling up? Well, we, um, we have new, we have some issues that are coming up that, that you'll be hearing a lot about. Um, one is the Soldier On project which I'll be honest, I have a lot of concerns with. That's, that's a veter me. That's a veteran's uh, issue? Soldier On is a nonprofit organization. I think they're based out of Massachusetts, Pittsfield, and they provide supportive housing for homeless veterans. Great program. I've heard nothing in but good things. In Pittsfield. In Pittsfield yeah. and around, uh, around the country, but mostly the, around mm -hmm. here, you know, in the eastern part of the country. And the county executive is very interested in trying to bring a soldier on project in Albany County. And I, and I support that. I think it's a great idea. And honestly, from what I hear, they do a good job. Mm -hmm. But the location of where they want to do this is, where it cause, is causing me a great deal of anxiety and concern. Because they want to, they want to build a facility right next to the... Um, Shaker historical site by the airport. Mm -hmm. um, this would be a senior citizen's home pretty much? Well, no, it'll be a home for homeless veterans. So even young people. You mean. So people who are... Why don't they do it in the VA? Are having, well, this, this is a nonprofit and they sort of specialize in helping oh. homeless vets transition from the streets to uh, an apartment and, and No, what and, I'm saying is that there's still land available near the VA well, hospital. Why can't good, you just take that's some of that land? So you're near, yeah. you're the, near services, the VA services, right, right. but then again you have your apartment and you have... Right. Yeah. Well, you hit the nail on the head, and that is a, the question of the hour. And then you have the Tudor Homes on Holland, mm -hmm. which people are... I, every once in a while I read articles that they're not being kept up or there's some issues maybe. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. but I'm just saying okay. so you can look well, into that we'll too. Well, we'll look into it and, and, yeah. and I don't want to be, you know, a naysayer, but the bottom line is the Shaker Historical District right. is a very, very important, it's a, right. it's a national historical district, sure. it's very important to our community and it needs to be protected and preserved and enhanced, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. And the county has done a horrible job of we own it, by the way, mm -hmm. which is part of the reason why I think the we, county, Albany County, the county owns, owns the Shaker site. The Shaker site, 
and I think, and, and a lot of the land around that is all county owned. Across the street is, is where Heritage Park used to be. So, Which is now a weed field, field of weeds. Exactly. And the, so the concept is to move into the old Ann Lee home, renovate that, and then build a new structure perpendicular to that uh, right uh, in the same vicinity right. of the Shaker site and house mm -hmm. 172 people and bring people in who are not necessarily veterans but homeless people to come in and, 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 and help them out during the daytime, that sort of thing. And the problem is that um, unlike a nursing home where people are, are not ambulatory, they're mm -hmm. basically in their nursing home, they might come out a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. go here and there, but not really. Most of the people who are going, the 172 people are going to be very mobile and on the move. And I think it will literally just sort of overrun the whole well, site. Well, level those two hotels that you closed on Central Avenue and then build them on Central Avenue. There you go. That's a good idea. The bluebell well, and the... Well, they, uh, I don't know what, you know, the, they, the, the they, thinking is we have... Because you got shopping across the street. Right. You got a whole... Other, You're on the bus yeah, line. That's right. I, uh, yeah, there you go. I, I think there, a lot of people are thinking about Skyline. alternatives. Yeah, the Skyline Sky and the Blue and Bell the Blue or whatever. Bell. They're, they're all important. Uh, I mean, we have to come up with something. On, on in my opinion, we have to come up with another And Habitat hum, for Humanity can build the buildings. Habitat is very involved in the land bank, or the head of the Habitat right. for Humanities is. And the land bank may be featured as part of this. So okay. I'm just nervous because I think what we ought to be doing is investing in the Shaker site, right. making that site what it what it should be, mm -hmm. and not a tourist attraction. It is right, and, and and it can be a huge tourist attraction if we if we invest in it, and mm -hmm. we we ought to do it. Which leads me to the hotel tax, mm -hmm. which is a big issue right now. You favor, don't favor. Uh, I support it, but um, how much I, of a tax? It's a six percent tax. It's a that's the current tax. The way it's divided is where I get a little bit troubled. Uh -huh. um, currently, 3% is permanent, and 3% we, we uh, renew every two years. The, so this, it's 6%. 1% goes to the uh, Visitors Bureau, the Albany County Convention Visitors Bureau. 1% mm -hmm. goes to the Albany County Convention Center Authority, right. which is the entity that's overseeing the construction of the... That's going to be on State and Eagle, right? Yep. And then four goes into the uh, debt service for the Civic Center. Okay. Nothing goes to the county... Well, the county owns the Civic Center. Right. Still. So, it, you know, we do this on a percentage basis. When this was right. established years ago, 1%, I don't know how much that, that equaled. Now it equals well over a million, 1.2, 1.3 million. So we're putting a lot of our money into the Civic Center. And what's supposed to happen is once the convention center gets built, we're supposed to start shifting some of that over to that. Well, you can... My concern yeah. is... Well, what I want to do is, that, first of all, we've downsized the convention center from right. the original concept when we came up with the extra 3%. We've downsized it significantly from what it was going to be. Right. So the idea that we're going to stick with that same formula is ridiculous. Is ridiculous. Yeah. Secondly, we can take some money off the top after we pay the debt service. So if the mortgage is a, is a million dollars and we collect a million and a half dollars, well, we can, we can pay the mortgage a million and take that half a million and use it for other purposes. Like or, the nursing home or, a, well, or the no, jail. No, you can't use it for... You, you, you could try, but they want you to use it, they being the state, uh -huh. that gives us the authority oh, to, to use this tax. Okay. They, it's got to be used for economic development and oh, or I tourism. Okay. So what I want to well, use it for jail would be is the Shaker site. <laughs> the Shaker site's a better purpose for it because we own the Shaker site. We've okay. neglected it. It's a historical site. All right. With a steady I'm flow of, you. I'm on board with you. Yeah, of, of okay. revenue, we can do that. And then the rest, we should dedicate it to the Albany Symphony Orchestra, the Institute of History and Art, the I, Capitol Rep. We're out of time, but I whatever. really think you so, have, I think the Albany in general, Albany County has really been understated, like you say, of tourism. Yes. You've got a Hudson River. Yep. All you have is a highway. I mean, all right, you have USS Slater, oh, a few things. i got to ask and, you and, one, go ahead. one quick question, just quickly. 
the casino, the E23, what, right. what, yes or no? Do you support it, don't support it? How do you, how do you feel I'm about it? I'm ambivalent about it, and well, I, if... Generally speaking. I think at this point I probably won't know. Okay. Go ahead, Rabbi. Sorry. <laughs> I have to conclude <laughs> over here. The, in any case, thank you, for Nicholas. You know that you've uh, come before, and we always look forward to you to have I good like ideas. I like you. It always goes too fast. Yeah, I know that. Well, you'll come again, and yes. there'll be new issues. Life goes on, and okay. we only wish you to, to serve the, the people of Albany County with good health. Thank you well, very thank much. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Tim, for coming. enjoyed it.